Welcome back, friends. Got a series of exciting battles today. We're going to be doing our Throwback Thursday, and this week we're going to be fighting in Skylark, like you see there. So this should be an exciting battle. Um, this week was uh, one of the best weeks um, that I've enjoyed um, after last week being a little bit less great. Um, this week is good, so I'm excited for any of those of you who have been following these uh, to see how these battles these battles go. So, um, had the whole crew in, and uh, this map is huge. I believe it's a 12v12 map, so it allows a lot of players, which I think is great. Um, I enjoy that a lot more than the 8v8 matchmaking battles. Um, so, I noticed there was a ton of shafts on our team, so I'm planning to sh uh, switch from shaft to freeze. And there's this noob over here, Luis367. You're going to see him in another video shortly. He and I actually battled um, in matchmaking the day before this, so Wednesday, um, I'll have that video up soon, but he's he's really good. Uh, rocks the Shaft Hornet with the light caps in matchmaking really well. And then Melos, and I believe we probably had at least one other Shaft. So, um, I'm going to switch because I don't want to be facing a lot of 50% protection. So, and also, um, uh, Freeze has been a fun, fun turret, so that is my goal. So once I die... Got Superman, Quang, and Bacon all kind of uh, zoning in on me there. So, instant death, I have switched to Freeze. Freeze is a turret that I am very familiar with and um, should be a relatively easy fight. Uh, Shepard, um, that Fire Hornet, played really well the whole battle. I started out badly, 0 oh 2 at the beginning. Um, I was thinking, oh, is this going to be one of those battles? Um, it's not how you want to start. But, this map is not a map that I was familiar with from the start, so a lot of at the beginning, um, I just spent kind of exploring. Quang the boy with that scout alt on his railgun. So my teammate there does grab the flag. I'm going to do some skirmishing behind, see if I can play some defense, chase some people around. Uh, the odds of me getting all the way through without dying are pretty low, but... I'm going to try none the less. I'm essentially out of supplies. Oh! Flag has been returned, so let's go. I've got double damage, so I'm going to be able to get some shots off on Bacon. Unfortunately, he has pulled far enough away. Let me pop my repair kit. Yep. I am moving like molasses right now, so I'm a bit naked. But if I can get around this corner, I should have a clear run to the flag. Um, I'm getting chased probably by this one. Simple. But there we go. So I'm going to cap the flag right there. Um, so we're going to start being 1 to 0, so the speed of Wasp allowing me to get the score there. So you know what? I've already made one run up to the flag, so let's make another one. Let's make another run. Bacon's going to be using his Gauss Viking. He just purchased the Viking Prime. I'm going to be able to get him there, so I'm going to keep moving onward, upward, backward, forward. Um, he just purchased Viking Prime, so looking looking pretty cool there. Just gonna get this guy, get some score. He really didn't want to die. Um, and there's the flag again, so um, the red team was pretty aggressive early on, and I ended up finding their base empty several times. Um, probably should have waited. Yep, 522 Superman with that Vulcan. Um, that was completely on me for just running out. I knew that he wasn't. I knew that he was going to shoot me, but I decided to go out anyways. So, Hippie using Smokey this time for the first time. Um, Superman getting some more shots on me. I did pop my repair kit. It let me stay alive, but then Quang, uh, Quang takes me out with that Smokey. So, I was able to take out Bacon there before the mine got me, um, but... Uh, so another another thought I have sped up this gameplay not the speed of the of the gameplay itself but cut out a lot of the a lot of the respawning time so if you have any thoughts on that whether you like that better or worse um, by all means let me know um, uh, when I do gameplay videos I'm just gonna let it go because I'm doing that live commentary but if I do um, like uh, wow flipping for days if I do um, post commentary I'm gonna try to cut out a lot of it so that um, so that the videos are shorter this went from 18 minutes to th 13 minutes I believe. 
um, and also so there's just more action so that people aren't just busy watching uh, me driving around. Um, just a comment on Shepard. Shepard played really well. I'm not sure why I, I really had trouble against him. Um, I don't think I beat a one-on-one -on -one engagement versus him at any point. So maybe that uh, he might be using the ah. Uh, he might be using the alt that re removes fire damage and um, increases. Sorry, it removes the burning effect and increases damage. So that might be that might be what's going on there. Why he was able to beat me um, every time. So let's watch right now and see if I heat up. Yeah, see, I'm not heating up whatsoever. So he is he is using the alt that increases fire damage. Um, Freeze has one as well, but it's not nearly as good. And the freezing effect is relevant, allowing me to catch up. That's a weird, a weird shape for the Aceta, Aceta juice. Um, Abundance of Zen started out using Aceta uh, Viking. He will switch to being a noob fat camper later on in the battle. Uh, this character was just AFK, so he's like, you know what? I'm gonna be dying a lot in this battle. Might as well get some score if I possibly can. Get some ticks of, of damage on Shepard there, but eventually he takes me out. So let's push onward, upward, backward, forward. It is two to zero. Um, this is a game to five. Brian is buzzing in the chat. Bzz, bzz. So I'm not sure exactly what he's doing. Um, Brian does have a disease where he thinks that he is a um, a uh, an insect sometimes. And that may be... See, notice I'm not burning whatsoever. So Shepard is 100% using that alt. Um, sometimes he buzzes. There's Malos camping in the corner. I'm going to grab this double armor so I have it for a bit longer. And I might be able to take... Oh, there's an XP player. There were some actually some solid XP uh, rail players in this battle. All right, so this is gonna be fun. We got abundance of Zen, Trid up try. I didn't even know that Trid was in the battle, and Quang the noob. All of them were in the battle together. Quang the boy um, is actually in my clan. Um, we don't play very much together. Um, Trid was for a while, but he never played. He just kind of used it as a way to have a tag and to get free pro battle. So we eventually kind of kicked him, um, and then. They were both in this battle today. There's Luis, with that Titan railgun. Looking good. And Dr. Tank. Dr. Tank is a person, I don't actually don't even remember how I how I ever met him or we became friends. We were probably friends in the earlier days when I was of a lower lower rank. Um, so it was kind of cool. Actually, I be, if I believe correctly, he might have been two red stars when I started. So that's funny that he's... Um, yeah, that's embarrassing. Um, uh, there's Luis. Get double gouged by five two 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 Superman. Hammer is one of the better turrets uh, in the game um, when it comes to these battles. Um, Hammer Viking is really good. Almost every time the person who has dominated has either been using gauss or hammer. So if you want a, a turret that goes really well with Viking, Hammer is it. Do get fortunate, I'm able to take that kill out. I'm going to be able to take Shepard out with an ambush. Yep. One of the things I love about Freeze is the high damage it deals. So if you can, if you can catch somebody without armor, then you can kill them quickly before they can react. getting hit by Smokey. I believe that's Hippie. Actually, no, Quang has Smokey as well. So Quang has switched to Smokey. Um, I'm going to get taken out by... Ayub6. Los. Shepard is his name. A little bit of frame rate struggle there. I'm not sure what happened. I don't know if that was in-game or if that was just the way it recorded, but it happened. Poison is the only one with freeze protection on, I believe. Uh, 
Uh, I'm super dead without armor. Bacon's just gonna one shot me. Yep. Brian's gonna drive into me just to show me who's boss. Because that's important. When you are the sway, it's important to, that everybody knows that you are the boss. Good stuff. I'm gonna get taken out. By abundance of Zen. No, I'm not sure who that was. I'm gonna ambush Quang the boy again. It is now currently three to zero. I just use repair kit instead of using double damage. So I don't have it. But it was kind of my goal to get into the back so that I could grab a flag. Unfortunately there were just enemies everywhere. One of the problems with fast being speedy is uh Sometimes you get ahead of your team and you end up Zen. You end up popping your head out and getting taken out by Zen. Zen has switched to full camp mode. He's just going to be using, sitting his big bum down and using Shaft and Mammoth. So he will kill me several more times. Thought I could get some shots off on Bacon, but um, their entire team was hanging out back there. And Brian flipping like a professional and landing it. That was pretty legit stuff. Hippie is driving for it. We all know that Hippie likes to drive around a lot. Well, that's what he's doing. He's gone to Thunder. So. Sita with no supplies is not going to be able to take on a freeze with full supplies. And this part I was excited. Being able to get some through shots, Quang can't actually shoot me because his dictator teammate is in the way. I'm getting lit up by a rail from my own team, uh, which is always fun, but... Shepard's going to take me out there, yep. Zen, once you switch to Shaft and Mammoth... <laughs> Um, ended up doing really well in the third battle. He essentially was one of the reasons why the battle was very close. He played excellent defense, um, took out a lot of enemies. Um, unfortunately, in these battles, people really like to go um, shaft, which I guess I can't criticize because I like doing it too, but um, maybe it's, I don't know, you just get all the people that want to hang out in the back of the base. I think in this battle we had a, a teammate. Anyways, that's the end of the battle. We win 5-0. to zero. There's the scoreboard, 25-21. Um, Shepard in first place. So, nice job to everyone who was involved in that battle. We're going to have two more, so I hope that you will be around to see them. They were great times. So, thank you all very much.